The military airfield in Primorsko-Oktarsk was hit as a result of a night attack in the Krasnodar region, a serviceman was wounded. The region was attacked not only by drones, but also by at least two missiles, ASTRA sources one serviceman was wounded as a result of an attack on the Primorsko-Oktarsk military airfield on the night of July 5, ASTRA sources in the emergency services of the Krasnodar territory reported. Earlier, Ukrainian Ossenters reported the defeat of the same airfield. In addition to hitting the airfield, an electrical substation in Primorsko-Oktarsk was hit, and some subscribers experienced power outages. In addition, as the governor previously reported, a hit was recorded in a residential building. Six people were injured, a child died. As ASTRA found out, the region was attacked not only by drones, but also by at least two missiles. The Russian Ministry of Defense officially reported that 14 drones were shot down, keeping silent about missiles and hits on a military airfield and an electrical substation. Local authorities did not report this either. According to open data, Primorsko-Oktarsk is a joint airfield in the Krasnodar territory, located on the northeastern outskirts of the city of Primorsko-Oktarsk. The 960th Guards Assault Aviation Regiment, Military Unit 75387, which is part of the 1st Guards Mixed Air Division of the 4th Guards Air Force and Air Defense Army, is stationed at the airfield. The regiment is armed with Su-25, Su-25UB and Su-25SM-3 attack aircraft. Russian President Vladimir Putin and his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping met on Wednesday in Kazakhstan's Astana city where they are attending the summit of a security grouping created by Moscow and Beijing to counter Western alliances. The annual meeting held in Kazakhstan's capital Astana brings together the leaders of other countries that are members of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. The organization has firmly established itself as one of the key pillars of a fair, multipolar world order. Putin said, while hailing Moscow-Beijing ties that he said are at their best in history. Our cooperation is not aimed against anyone, we are not creating any blocks or alliances, we are just acting in the interests of our peoples, Putin said. In his opening remarks, she told Putin that China and Russia should uphold the original aspiration of friendship for generations, in response to an ever-changing international situation. Prior to Putin's arrival in Astana, Kremlin aide Yuri Ushakov stated, We believe that the SCO, as well as the second major association of BRICS, are the main pillars of the new world order, a locomotive in the context of establishing genuine multilateralism in world affairs. Set up in 2001 by Russia, China and Central Asian nations of Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan, the group aims to promote regional security and economic cooperation. It was later joined by India, Pakistan and Iran.